What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment and uh, the game's just gone final between Michigan and Michigan State and unfortunately we came up short but you know from my from my previous videos um, I made a point you know everyone was on the John O'Corn when wagon after the game against Purdue and from my analysis video, I said, pump the brakes. I said, let's not anoint this guy as the next coming just because of the one game. And in my previous video with the uh, with my prediction video, obviously I was off as far as the final outcome of the score, but my concerns were valid. You know, I, I was one of my biggest concerns was first of all them coming off the improvement week and you know being flat and then also the difference between O'Corn coming into the game you know not really thinking about things and then having a whole week to prepare for the game and have things on his mind and think about things and you know this game reminded me of that Indiana game that we played last year um, except we didn't come out with the victory this go around it was the exact same thing, you know, O'Corn knowing that he's going to come into the game and, you know, playing a full game, it was his game to win or lose, and bad weather. And, man, I, you know, I had said in the predictions video that, you know, as long as our offense doesn't lose us the game, I think that our defense will do enough for us to win the game. And this game is, I mean, what more can I say? It was another one of these games where we played not so hot in the first half. Second half, defense clamped down, only allowed one first down for the second. I mean, what more could they do? It's that same 10 to 14 points they give up, which is exactly what they did. All they needed was the offense to do something, anything. And all we could muster is 10 points. I, I mean... We turned the ball over five times. I mean, it's, it's becoming a theme now of us turning the, the ball over. And really, as well as the defense is playing, we're not getting the takeaways to counterbalance us turning the ball over on offense. The defense is doing way, 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 way too much. And it's going to wear down on them going forward for the rest of the season. You know, I, I just, I just read. Uh, I think it was maybe between the third and the fourth quarter. Uh, story on ESPN saying, stating that Willem Spade is going to be possibly out for the rest of the, the season with like a broken bone in his neck. Um, you know, I didn't really fully read the, the article. I kind of just looked at it, looked at the headline, and then went back to watching the game. So I'll take a look at it. If it is what it is, I'll definitely leave a link to the description below for you to take, check out. But if this is the case, this is very, very, very bad news. Um, like I said, everyone was down on Willem Spate, uh, real high on John Corn. But as you can see, there's a reason why Harbaugh has gone with Willem Spate despite his struggles and st stuck with him. There's a reason for that. I, I don't, I don't question Harbaugh's his ability to, you know, determine talent and determine who is going to give him the best ability to win the game. I, I don't question that. So when he kept going to Will and Spate, there was a reason for this. There's a reason why O'Corner is the backup. And this game, I mean, dis despite the weather, I mean, he just, I, I don't know what it is, but he just doesn't have, he just doesn't have it to be a starting quarterback, man. I mean, he'll spell he'll spell a game. He might be able to come in in a situation, but for him to have the game on his shoulders, I don't know if it's just some something as far as performance and anxiety, but he just has happy feet in the pocket. I mean, Herb Street was saying in the telecast many times of him just taking off and scrambling when he didn't have to. 
you know, times where the, the pocket wasn't collapsing and he would just run into defenders or he would just take off and scramble when he had time that he could have just sat back in the pocket. And, I mean, it did work out sometimes for him, but at least a couple of those times when he took off and then tried to make something work, I mean, two, he threw two interceptions like that. He just doesn't have... He just doesn't have it, man. Um, I, I wasn't convinced. I, I said that in the previous game against Purdue that he showed me something, but I still wasn't convinced. That's why I said we need to pump the brakes on that. And lo and behold, this game, I mean, we just... It, I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the season. I'll just be, I'll be honest with you. Um, if Will and Spade is out, like they said, this could be a very difficult stretch of games going down to the end of the season. I mean, you got us going on the road, especially the game in Penn State. I don't know how we're going to do that with, if O'Corn is a starting quarterback. Um, our offense, uh, it's, just, it's, just not, it's just not clicking, man. I think the the running game is decent, but because there's no real threat downfield, teams are just stacking and getting closer and closer to the line of scrimmage. That's why we're having difficulty running the football. And forget the play action. I mean, nobody's really respecting their play action because nobody is... They're not taking shots down the field, which is a thing I don't understand. Um... You know, I don't know if it, none of these guys are big play guys or they don't have the, the speed to get down the field, but we have to somehow keep defensive, the DBs and the safeties and whatever the case may be, we have to keep their defense honest on the backside um, as far as the wide receivers go. It, it's way too much close to the line, crossing patterns, screens, um, you know, quick hitch plays, way too much of that, and they're not taking any shots down the field at all. No one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, you might see like maybe one a game, but what, what has happened to our wide receivers? I was so excited going, to, going into the season as far as, you know, the, the wide receivers that we, we got from this last recruiting class. And, I mean, Tariq Black, I mean, he showed, some, he showed something. Um, but I haven't really seen anything other than him, and he's injured. Dalvin Peoples-Jones, I haven't really seen him all that much. I know when Tariq Black went down, everyone said that he was going to just replace him and there's nothing to worry about. There's something to worry about. Um. We, we don't have any teams don't respect our deep deep game at all. I mean that's that's fairly obvious. And we're, we're gonna just struggle if if we can't take shots down the field, if teams can't respect the fact that we might go deep on them, we're, we're gonna have a long season. Uh, we're, we're not gonna be able to beat Wisconsin. We're not gonna be able to beat Penn State. We're not gonna be able to beat Ohio if we played the way that we played today. I mean, it's just not going to happen. And I'm just disappointed how poorly we played after having a whole week to prepare for these guys. Um, you know, some very questionable play calling. Um, you know, Eddie McDoom, man, that was just a horrible drop at the end of the game. I mean, I'm not sure if it would have made a difference, but, I mean, it would have... It would have made things more interesting if he had made the catch, but, I mean, you know, if we got to leave it down to that, you know, that point of the game where we're relying on that play, then, you know, there's other issues that are far greater than that, than a drop, or whatever the case may be. Um, these guys have to make, you know, there's, some something has to change, something, uh, defensively, like I said, I mean, they played their hearts out, man. Um, you know, they gave up to 14 points. Uh, first half, kind of shaky. Second half, they, they 
They stepped up, played exceptionally well. I don't think they could have played any better. But, I mean, it's... I guess holding a team to zero is not good enough for this defense, obviously. You know, the way this offense is playing... The one way it's going to be good enough for them is that they have to they have to generate turnovers. They got to they got to sack the quarterback, cause fumbles, get interceptions, negative plays. They have to do more, and I, I hate saying this because it sounds ridiculous. But at this point, if the offense can't improve any more than they are, uh, that's what they're going to have to do. The offense is going to have their defense is going to have to outscore. The, op the opponent's offense for us to win. And that sounds ridiculous, but that's where we're at with this team right now. Um, so, sucks that we lost. Um, you know, I don't know what this is going to mean going further, you know, going down further down the line. Um, you know, it's funny, a friend of mine had called me before the game to say that I hope you guys lose because He's a Notre Dame fan, and you know he wants Michigan State to do well to help them. Uh, I guess he thinks that they're gonna make it in the playoffs. I don't know, whatever the case may be. But I mean, he got his wish. They won, and I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the season. But this this is one of these losses that we couldn't afford to have. I mean, there's no disrespect to Michigan State. You guys played a great game. And uh, you guys deserve to win. You guys played your hats off. And, um, you know, you deserve the, the victory. But, you know, we have more difficult games down the road than Michigan State. And, you know, for us to lose this game, it's really, really, really concerning for us going, you know, for us going forward. Because I, I, I don't see... I don't see, I don't want to sound pessimistic, but I don't see us beating Penn State or Ohio, uh, you know, not if we play the way we played today. So, anyways, that's it for my video. You know, like I said, I'm disappointed we lost, um, but there's always next week, right? So anyways, thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, definitely feel free to like the video. If you have any comments or anything to say about the game today, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, what, how do you, let me know how you feel about the game, whether or not there needs to be a change, whether or not they need to give Peters a chance, whether or not uh, there's a reason why Peters isn't in there. Just leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you feel about that. Uh, try to share this video with as many people as possible to get the discussion going about Michigan football. And if you enjoy my comments, and you join my commentary and uh, all the information that I give, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, like I said, we're, there's a lot of momentum as far as uh, my channel goes. We're getting bigger, and I want it to grow even more. So please subscribe to the channel, and definitely like the video. All of those things definitely, definitely help my channel. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and go blue still. Go blue.